guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Kyra Sean. Today is Wiggy Wednesdays, and you guys know for Wiggy Wednesdays, this includes everything from weaves, wigs, and natural hair. I'm going to be including two of those things in this video today as I show you guys how I take my natural shortcut and put it up into this updo with a Rapunzel braid. So if you guys want to see how I got this do, go ahead and stay tuned. Okay, so first things first, y'all can see this is my hair, my natural hair, um, back in December. No, December of last year, I cut all my hair off because I have PCOS and the effects of that without my medication was causing my hair to fall out literally like in chunks. And also the combination of, you know, post-term shedding, you know, after having babies or whatever, um... Yeah, it was horrible. So I literally just cut all my hair off. So it's been growing since then. This is um, a little stretched, not all the way, but you can see it's a little stretched out because I had my cornrows in. Um, I just took them out earlier. And now I'm about to show you guys how I do my ponytail. Now, eventually I will do a video on my PCOS and, you know, things I've been through with that, including my hair loss, um, mainly in the middle of my hair. Um, is where I suffer the most hair loss. So my hair in the middle is super, super thin. And some of it is actually still uh, not bald anymore, but it's growing in, but it's still like super, super short. So I won't be able to grip that. All right, so first things first, I need some hair ties. I got these from the beauty supply store. I also need some thick super hold gel. Um, the Ampro's Pro Style Gel is what I use for my ponytails. I know some people are like, oh, that's black gel, and you know, it's flaky, blah, blah. This stuff, obviously I'm not kicking it in my hair, you know, over days. I'm using it for one style, one style only, and then when I'm done with that style, I'll take it out. If I need to, I'll use the free spray to kind of hold the ponytail into place. Um, and any other products that I use, I will show you guys. So, I'm going to use a little bit of my wrapping lotion that you guys saw in one of my hair videos. Just to kind of add some moisture to my hair. So it's a little bit easier to manage. I don't want to put too much moisture on it because then it'll shrink back up and yeah, <laughs> that'll be bad, so. Okay, so before I put on um, my black gel, I'm going to use the Eco Styler gel to uh, base up my hair just a little bit to kind of pull it into the right direction like I said you can you've probably seen other people put the ponytail in the middle if they have short hair and then kind of braid around it and then pull the rest of the hair up but because my hair is so, so short in the middle I don't want to put any tension on that area for fear that it's going to just snap the little bit of hair that I do have there off so I'm not trying to do that um, but you guys will see how I'll hold this into place. I know it sounds crazy, but it's not ripping my hair out. It's just the sound of the, you know, the hard bristles. set did come with little clips so I'm going to use that to clip the rest of my hair down on the side and then use bobby pins for the rest okay so then I'm going to take my Ampro and put that on the outside of my hair And just continue to smooth that up. Before I slick the rest down, I'm going to style up my baby hairs. Oh, 
Okay, so I have different types of hair, um, but they're all braided in here. So I have the um, Easy Braid Original uh, Authentic Braid. This is in the color uh, T1B30, and then I also have it in T1B900. Uh, and then I also have, which is like a red color, so it's like that. And then the 1B30 is like, you know, that brownish blonde type color. Um, Looks like that. And then I actually have the long 100% Kanekalon Jumbo braid in here. So this is what I'm going to use to make my braid. And they come like this, so it's three different Jumbo braids. So I'm going to take one of these. Actually, I'm going to take two. I'm going to keep the braids like this together. But I'm going to pull the paper off the end because I want to braid this together. And then I'm going to take the um, the red here. This is how that hair looks. So it's a lot brighter out of the pack than it is in the pack. Sheesh. I'm going to take this braiding hair and I'm going to use the rubber bands to secure it. Hold on, which side do I want it on? I want it on this side, so I'm going to secure it this way. I'm going to use the rubber bands to secure it to the ponytail that I have on here. And just wrap it around. Okay, and then I'm just going to take it and flip it over. Like I'm going to wrap that and then I'm going to secure it in place with bobby pins because I don't want it to slip. to braid this hair is very very simple and I'm going to section it into three sections okay so one two three and then I'm going to take some of the red hair and get it ready because I'm going to feed that into the uh, braid Just about three of them. And I'm going to braid it not too tight, but not super loose either. Because I want it to have a certain look. You guys will see. And then I'm going to take the first V-Bang braid. Connect it to the back here, and then wrap it around like that. Okay. And then I'm taking the next one, same thing, grabbing it on the back here, and then I grab it with this one. Swing that one around and continue braiding. Bam. So I'm wrapping it, not wrapping it, but I'm like, I'm placing this on one of the third, one of the three strands, and then I'm connecting it with that one, keeping it with this middle one, and then I'll continue braiding. Like that. I'm going to just use the black uh, tie that I had here and just secure that on the end. Some people would leave it like that. I don't want it. I don't want to though. So I'm actually going to start to pull 
the sections apart just a little bit, starting to tuck. So I'm pulling the braids out like this. So it's a little loose. And I'll just continue pulling down until I get my desired look. Now if I wanted the braid to be a little bit wider, I would braid a little bit looser, but I didn't want it to be too wide, you know? So that's why I didn't braid it um, that loose. That's good. So to make sure it's not flopping all around, I'm going to secure it with a bobby pin in the back. Again, if I had my, not these bobby pins, but you know, the, uh, like the prong looking ones, it'll be a lot better. But since I don't have those and I don't have black ones, this is what I'll, this is what I have to use. So. Okay. Now, I'm going to take this long piece of red. And I'm going to wrap it around the tie. I'm just going to keep wrapping it tight to get it secured. That's it. And I can cut this little piece off here. My hair is loose on the side, so you know, just be realistic and get it down. That is how that looks, but you know, I love being extra, so to set it off for my photo shoot, I'm going to add some flowers. This is just a hairband that I have. I'm going to Make into a little concoction here. Gonna bobby pin that to that. Kind of close it up. And then I'm going to take that and bobby pin it down. But as you guys saw, the flowers are not necessary. So, uh, yeah, that is how I do my little side braid on my, on my short hair. It's possible. It can happen. <laughs> I can swing it around and be just fine. It's secure. It is not going nowhere. On my little bitty ponytail, it is on there, okay? So, yes, trust the process. Trust the process, guys. And I'm not by any means a finagler with these baby hairs, so don't come for me. Don't come for me. So this was Wiki Wednesdays. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and uh, I will see you guys very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to click on last Friday's Fab Friday. There's a giveaway in that video if you did not know. So go ahead and click on that video. Watch it. This braid may be making a comeback on Friday. We'll see. I think I'll take some pictures. So I think this braid's going to be coming back. You know? Oh, and can, did y'all notice I got no eyelashes on? Your girl don't have no eyelashes on. I got on some mascara. Mm-hmm. We'll talk about that in the next, you know, the Beauty Monday. We'll talk about that. But, uh, yeah. I'm feeling this very minimal look with the bold lip. I'm feeling it. <laughs> but I will see you guys very, very soon. Love ya. Bye. Bye. That sounds so weird. Bye. See ya. Peace out. <laughs> Bye, guys.